an area with a very chequered past, once known as Blood and Gut Street because of its slaughterhouses. It's also been a slum and a red light district. But Burr Street in Norwich is entering a new era. Elizabeth Gould is a director at Martin's Hi-Fi, which her father's owned for 49 years. She knows the area better than most and has watched it change. There was plenty of warehousing, which also brought, um, shall we say, the ladies of the night would be visiting. So I can vividly remember as a 10-year-old walking up and down and wondering what all these ladies were doing standing there. And they're not here now. This, this train, the change is massive with John Lewis coming and the car park that they have and the independent shops that are up here, many, many more, and it's very prosperous. And I just think... You know, to encourage people to come this way is a great thing. But now companies along the road are coming together to drum up business and encourage more people to visit the area. Around 15, including Gerald Giles and the Tea Lounge, have signed up to be part of the Burr Street Hub. It's been launched by the owner of Dynamic Fitness, Ross Lenton. He wants to give it its own identity, just like the Norwich Lanes. My dream, in a way, is to really sort of push on so people know about it in Norwich. So when you say, oh, this meet for a coffee down at the Burr Street Hub, or um, have you seen the Christmas lights down on Burr Street? They look great, you know, um, exciting things, really, that things that actually get people thinking this place is a good place to come. Uh, they can come and get a haircut as well as then having a coffee or, or a training session all in, you know, all in a row, really. A number of new businesses have also been attracted to the street in recent months. Wine merchants Harper Wells moved in last year. Neighbours Float followed soon after. They offer something called flotation therapy in pods of salt water. And while many have moaned about the roadworks around John Lewis, these two businesses see the pedestrianisation of this part of the city as a positive. The location's awesome, just purely for the fact of because it's walking distance to the centre of the city, the walking distance to the bus station, to the train station, so it's really, um, really well accessible. We need a building that's big and airy and that, that has good vehicle access as well. And when you look around Norwich, very, very difficult to find those types, types of buildings. Burr Street is still is one of the few uh, streets in Norwich that has this mixture of buildings where you can fit these types of businesses in them still today. So whether you want to buy a Harley Davidson, have a float or get a haircut, Burr Street has it. A stark contrast of how it used to be. Christina Brinkley, Mustard TV, Norwich.